The Baker U's frack point system provides operators a way to economically complete horizontal wells in unconventional gas formations requiring fracturing operations while accelerating and increasing their net production. The frack point open hole system featured in this animation uses Baker U's short radius packers and specially designed frack sleeves. They are designed to isolate zones or intervals of a formation and increase the fracture conductivity to the wellbore. This system also eliminates the need to cement the production liner in the well. Some key benefits are increased production, elimination of costly wireline operations, and reduction of costly pumping operations. The frack point completion system comprises five major components. The wellbore isolation valve, the pressure activated frack sleeve or P sleeve, the frack point short radius open hole packer, the ball activated frack sleeve, and the liner hanger packer incorporating a tie back receptacle. This gives the operator the ability to tie back the casing to surface if needed at a later date. The completion liner is carried in on the S3 hydraulic liner packer using the Baker Hughes field proven model HR liner hanger running tool. The HR running tool is designed to torque through the entire system if dog legs or stubborn tight spots are encountered. This torque is transmitted via the three dogs locking into the three profiles in the tieback sleeve. The tools are run in the wellbore with a float shoe on bottom and the wellbore isolation valve directly above it. If necessary, since the frack point system was designed for high torque operations, the float shoe can be replaced with a float collar and an easy ream mill for rotational purposes. The short radius packers and ball activated frag sleeves are strategically placed in the completion liner, using casing to place them at the desired depth for maximum efficiency. The frack point system is run in the well in the closed position like any other typical production liner. The well bore isolation valve is in the open position, allowing circulation through the system. The sleeves are in the closed position. Upon reaching the desired depth with the completion liner, displacement operations can begin. Once the completion fluids are in place, the first ball is deployed and will seat in the wellbore isolation valve. An applied pressure of 2000 PSI will shift the wellbore isolation valve into the closed position, isolating the system from the wellbore and also creating a plug for the system to set the open hole packers. These packers are designed with Baker Hughes high temp, high pressure packing element system. They feature Baker Hughes patented anti-extrusion metal backup system. These packers are designed with enough rubber volume to ensure a seal in washed out areas of the wellbore. They also offer no mandrel movement, a huge advantage in ensuring that the packers set and hold since there are multiple packers in this system. By continuing to increase the pressure to 3,000 PSI, the liner packer will set and the HR running tool will release from the tieback sleeve. The HR running tool can then be removed from the liner packer to verify that it has properly released. At this point, the HR running tool assembly can be set back down into the liner packer, engaging the seals into the polished board. A casing test can be performed for packer casing integrity. After circulating the completion back to surface, the run-in string and setting tool can then be removed from the well, leaving the zones completely isolated from the well bore. The rig can then be moved off location and the fracturing surface equipment rigged up. By pressuring up to 4,000 PSI, the P sleeve is put into the open position and is ready for the first stage of the frame. The 
ball and ball seat divert the frag fluid out of the ports of the piece leaf, while the short radius packers isolate the formation intervals in the open hole. Once the first zone is fractured, the second ball is deployed. The balls are sized and designed to seat only in their corresponding frag sleeves. The ball and seat serve two main functions. First, it isolates the lower zone from the frac fluid and pressure, and second, it shifts the frac sleeve into the open position. At this point, the second stage is ready to be pumped. The ports on these specially designed sleeves have twice the flow area of the liner, so erosion and washouts are not likely to occur during the frac. Once the second stage is pumped away, the same step is repeated with the corresponding ball. This system can treat numerous separate intervals. After all the zones have been fractured, the well is ready to produce. Pressure from below will push the balls off seat, allowing the gas or oil to flow unrestricted to surface. If required, the balls and seats can be milled up, leaving a full opening throughout the liner. The reclosable frag sleeves allow the operator to isolate a particular zone for water intrusion or to isolate for refracking at a later date. Once the ball seat is drilled out, a shifting tool can be run in on either wire line or coil tubing, and the sleeve can be shifted closed and reopened if needed. Baker Hughes has performed extensive testing to find the right combination of ball materials for temperature, pressure, and mill out capability. For additional information regarding the Frack Point Open Hole Completion System, please contact your local Baker Hughes representative.